Greetings everyone, it's Bilal Kashani from F16. I'm ready to guide you through our FIP in a nutshell of a duration. The main purpose of our FIP is to convert offline sports management system into online. Our project is small scale, meaning only a small factor of people will be affected by the resources and features of our product provide. Here meet my team which is 163 Alicia, 159 which is me and 179 Sahil Dudai. This site takes idea of three level hierarchical administration model at the backend. This means that there will be three authority functionality between admin, he will manage the site, teachers and trainers. While teachers are responsible for the management of students, marking their attendance, taking their trials, while a student will fill the event form to join a team if a certain event does come up. So, okay, let's begin this. Ali, it's over to you. Hello, this is Alicia from Mapman 6 Patch, and I'll be helping my team in explaining our project further. As you already know about the project titles, Sports Event Management, that's given. These are my groupmates. There I am. You have already met with my groupmate, Lal Kashani. Uh, there's one more group mate, his name is Sahil and he will be explaining a, a project later. Let's just begin with research methodologies first. The two research methodology techniques that we picked are interviewing and observing for the strand. We skip the rest, particularly uh, questionnaire because making up a questionnaire takes too much of our time and then presenting the questionnaire to fill would be the staff's time as well. So we skipped that and the rest of the techniques weren't really needed and we don't want redundant data so we skipped the rest as well. Let's just start by interviewing first. What we did in interviewing was we questioned the staff on how they manage the backend databases, how they get orders from the upper management and how they actually carry out the event itself. We questioned the administration, the event itself, the notifications come from PVC so we can't, can't go there. So the director, what director told us what uh, the director told us we noted that down yeah that that's given we questioned the trainers as well uh, on how they carry out the training schedules how they prepare the menus as well and all these things then let's begin with the observing first hand what we did was we observe how the staff manages the databases how they actually insert the data, how they update the data. Uh, the whole database work was paperwork, so uh, it wasn't much, but we actually got to learn a uh, few things. We observed the training session as well. We were, uh, were with the trainers, we observed the whole training session, how, the, how things actually go before the event itself. Yeah, that's pretty much about it for the research technologies. Since we are done with that, let's pass over to my teammate Sahil for further explanations. Hello and assalamu alaikum. My name is Sahil Dudai and my role number is F16 SW179. I am the student of the software engineering studying in the Mehran University Jamshuru. As the student of the final year, we have got some project on our FIP. So our FIP project is to create a website for our university of, of the sports club. So here you can see our interface. If you are a teacher or admin, you can directly log in by just clicking that button. Here you can see you have to provide your username and the password if you are already registered. If you are not registered, you have to click on the sign in button and fill the details. And if you are a student, go back to the home button and see which sports you want to choose. There are many sports like cricket, football, badminton, table tennis, tug of war and marathon. Just click on the register now button. Here you can see the form of the register. Registration. You have to provide your full name, roll number, email, the sports you want to play, your department and your year. Just fill the field and click on the submit button. You have got then you after that you will got your verification that you are registered. Here you can see the events, events for what event, then which sport is occurring when and where or which event is occurring when and where. Now go to the facilities, which facilities we provide. The facilities we provide is a basketball, table tennis, badminton, volleyball, handball, chess, boxing, cricket ground and here is our fitness center. Fitness center is like gym. If anyone 
are interested to go to gym, boys, girls, faculty, or family, here are the schedules for the gym. The morning, evening, night, Friday, Saturday, Sunday for the individual, for boys and girls, or faculty members, or the family members. You can see here. Now, go to the contact. Contact us for what? Contact us for the query session. If you have any query or suggestion, you can just fill the form like name, email, subject, and message you want to give us. If you, you can contact us through the contact number which is provided in the mute email as well. Now the achievements. Achievements, achievements are the, the, we, the matches we want you know, with the other departments on the national skills or the speeches we uh, delivered. You can view result by just clicking that button of the view result. So you can also download. Download, just click on the download button. Here you can see the PTF file. I am opening it. Here you can see the result is given. Here you can see the technologies we used into our website for making them. The main technologies will be the HTML. HTML is what? HTML is basically you can say the skeleton of the website without any designing. You can see it, you can use it, but you won't like it. After that, we apply CSS. CSS is used to make any website look better, which attract people who sees it or who goes through it. And we apply JavaScript. JavaScript is basically used to interaction of the website, how some functions will work. And if, if any person wants to click the button or do something, he have or she have the curiosity that what will happen next. That's why we apply the JavaScript. And after that, we apply PHP. PHP is extremely popular scripting language that is used to create a dynamic web pages which embedded with the different languages like java c plus plus dot net or html then we apply bootstrap bootstrap is applied for to make our website responsive if anyone wants to use it on the mobile or the any tab so that's why we apply bootstrap the extra things we apply is a google map jquery or animation to make our website look better and responsive for all and easy to interact with the others. Let's start with the teachers panel now. I'll be using a dummy account that was created a few weeks ago to log in into the teachers panel. As you can see, the data has already been saved onto one of them. Let's just quickly sign in. We already onto the dashboard. Let's just assume that Alicia is a teacher consultant as well as a trainer for IT department. You can see there are a total six students registered I don't know how many of those are for my department, let's just say. And let's just say that the next event that uh, the next sport, sport event that is going to occur is an interdepartmental event. If the association panel were to create the interdepartmental event and assign it a date, I would see which date it will be and the uh, event description on this calendar at the moment. And I would see which sports uh, those are in this section. Let's just directly dive into the students. As you can see, uh, there are two st uh, students registered for the IT department, and both of them are less. Let's assume that they are both registered for the table tennis. Yeah, the year of study and the batch names are kind of mixed, but uh, you get the idea. The training sessions, uh, let's just say that the trials and the training sessions are created for cricket. And if I were to edit and uh, give it a duration, of time and the day uh, I would be doing that by uh, editing this uh, training session in this sports section uh, if a teacher tra a trainer were to add a new sport into the event he would do that using this section uh, in the attendance record uh, if I were to mark let's say Bilal's attendance I would do that uh, using this section I would mark it as you see, see his registration number was uh, in registration number is F16 ID. Uh, let's just say he uh, attended for one for one week. He attended the first trial. I'll just mark attended, and, and let's just say it is it's his uh, first semester. Save here, and he, as you can see here, that Bilal has attended the tri first trial as well. Uh, yeah, uh, I already did the abyss part. You can see here the academic years and it will just the purpose of this
uh, section is to just uh, narrow the students down onto their academic years so it's easy for teacher to navigate and uh, see which student has attended which student has not attended the particular trial or the event itself okay so this is the dashboard of an admin area it is pretty much as teacher but admin can see all these registered students training session sports even can send notifications if you head over to admin area here admin can see news update news entries top members and member listed at the top left there are three drop down menus one is our group you can create groups of lecturers teachers etc you can add members to those groups or view members of those groups this section is specifically for admin. If admin wants to change the password, admin wants to change the name, or he wants to add another admin, he can do all of this. If you click on groups, you'll see uh, here you can add new groups, you can edit those groups, you can delete those groups, or even you can view members in those groups, or send a notification for an event update. If you click on view members, you will see the list of all available members here. You can search a member by their name, by the field, or even you can select lecture and click on find. You will see all the members who are registered as lecturer. You can edit them, you can delete them, you can ban them for any specific reason or even send a private notification you can add a new member from here after creating a member you can edit his or her permission for example if you click on here and set permission for this user here you can set the permission of each member for example if Blal is a lecturer of software if I set this to owner Blal can only be able to see those students who are representing software or if I set this to all Blal can see all the registered students in this event and for the database we use PHP my admin and there are the many tables which contain different types of data and admin data student data sports data marks attendance courses and many more thank you